Ladies, I've written a letter. Well, not really a letter. It's a prediction. See the big question mark there? Mm -hmm. See if you can't make my prediction come true, Jenny. Mm -hmm. There's the cards. And I want you to take the envelope and just slip it into the deck anywhere you wish like that. You got the mm -hmm. idea? I'll riffle the cards for you. And you put it in any place you want. Now, you don't have to put it there. You can put it in another place if you like. Mm -hmm. You're happy with it there. Okay, now, you look at the card. All right, and show it to Tracy. Okay, now, hold on to the card. Tracy, inside is a piece of paper. Remove the paper if you will. Now, there are 52 cards in the deck. She could have placed the envelope anywhere she wanted. Let's see what my prediction says. What's it say? Show it to the camera. Four of hearts and you show your card. We are a successful girl. Congratulations. You're watching The Vault, I'm Bro Gilbert, and this week we are deep diving on Mr. Carol Fox. Now, if you're new to magic, you probably haven't heard of Carol Fox, but this guy is a living legend and you need to hear about him. He wrote all kinds of books. He was a legendary performer. His style, the way he dressed, epic. One of the coolest guys out there. A brilliant performer, but also a creator. This guy created close-up magic, comedy magic, kids show magic, and just was a... Uh, an explosion of style and creativity. And if you haven't seen Carol Fox, you need to download this video and get a little a little peek into the world of a true genius. Yep. No, it must have been a club then. Yep. What was the card? Ten of clubs. The what? <laughs> ten of clubs. Oh, the ten of clubs. <laughs> I'll be darned. <laughs> All right, ladies, you have freely selected four cards. Is that correct? Yes. Would you be surprised to see that we have one, two, three, four aces? You've done a good job, girl. <laughs> good job. You know when you got to go shopping and you just can't find any money around? Yes. Well, <laughs> now if you're a magician, all you do is take newspaper and you cut out five pieces of newspaper. See that, girls? in the shape of money. All right? Now, we snap our fingers and look what happens. One, two, three, four, five dollars. We work just as well with English money, too. We have a copy of Chat Magazine. And uh, I'm going to run through like this, Jenny. And as I, I deal through it, I want you to say stop just anywhere you like. Uh... Jenny, I think if you look at that page, you will find in the upper left-hand corner the picture of a lady. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. She's wearing a black dress? Yes. And it says right below it, a touch of class. Yes, that's right. In the center of the page, there's a group of uh, bottles. Yes. They're not whiskey bottles, and they're not beer bottles. They're not even Coke bottles. It's uh, some sort of uh, lotion for hands or bath or something. Yes. And I believe it has a fascinating caption on it. It says, 5,000 foaming freebies. Is That's that right? Correct. Good, good, okay. Now, uh, over on the, let's say the lower left-hand corner. Look at that. That's a photograph also, isn't it? Yes. Uh, oh, how clever. It says a box of tricks, doesn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm, good. <laughs> All right, now, over on the right-hand side, Match of the day? That's correct. Okay. Now in the upper right hand corner, concentrate on that. Uh -huh. In the States we would say nice looking skirts, but over here they would say jolly jumpers. Is that the correct? Right. Jolly jumpers? That's correct. Wonderful. You have been the perfect subject and I have read your mind.